even some medicines from reaching your pockets. Tonight, we have guests from across the continent to discuss this unprecedented situation. For advance, Peter Clement is at his home in Lanfordshire. Are you there, Peter? Yes, I can hear you, Jeremy. Thank you for having me. A momentous day, Prime Minister. Are you shaken? Now, I don't scare that easy, I'm afraid, old son. And neither do the people of this country. Well, joining us is Ivan Vodovic, Foreign Minister of Urkistan. Ivan, thank you for being here. It's a great pleasure. You, Megan Wolf. Are like strongest guard at labor camp who wake up inside body of crazy expensive prostitute. In my country, you may be worshipped as a god. Okay. Uh, Minister, as one of those arguing most strongly for these sanctions, how do you feel about Advance's defiant stance? Uh, Advance is like man who thinks he has a big career in movies land. When actually he in dirty sanitarium, screaming at me and holding tiny penis in hand. <laughs> He's clearly not from Svenland, then. We have, like, some of the cleanest mental health facilities in the continent, yeah. <laughs> and welcome to Svenland's Minister of Mojo, Björk. I'm sorry, we don't appear to have your surname. It's just Björk, yeah. We don't use things like socially divisive surnames here, yeah. Uh, minister? <laughs> it's just Björk, yeah. Right, um, Björk. Your country spoke in favour of advance at the World Council today, but you were noticeably absent when it came to the actual vote. Well, what a surprise. The hippies didn't show up for the fight. Actually, that's quite racist, because if you must know, we were going to go to the whole, like, vote thing, yeah? But it's actually the Festival of Furelands here at the moment, where we honor the old generations. So, like, we all had to look our grandparents clean, yeah, whilst the vote was happening. And that's, like, a really, really time-consuming process, actually. You're like a sissy man. You had this expression, sissy man? It's like man with tiny penis who like to wash more than once a week. <laughs> Actually, that's quite homophobic, y'all. Yeah, because... Oh, stop winding him up, Ivan. We're not back at the Grange now. Sorry, Jeremy. Ivan and I used to play golf back in my media days. Yeah, he always win. Nothing gives him greater pleasure than grinding people's gears. The more publicly, the better. <laughs> Peter, you're like man with tiny penis <laughs> who think he has tiny penis, but actually he discovered that. Uh... Oh, could it be? No, it's tiny penis. Ivan's just worried that when the rest of the world sees how well we're doing, they'll notice all that dosh that he's got squirreled away. Because that's what these sanctions are, Megan. They're the last pathetic gasp of an establishment in collapse. Wolves at the gates, Ivan, old mate. Good. It can join others on my wall. Actually, in Svenland, we have, like, serious animal welfare legislation. And, like, my friend Helga, she got arrested, yeah, for killing a butterfly that was hovering over her few thing. I mean, in English, uh, jam sandwich. I used to know a girl called jam sandwich. She was a right cracker, too. I wonder what became of her. We seem to be wandering a little from the news here. That's um, human interest, Jeremy. The real people behind the headlines and all that. So, uh, if you're watching, Jan, give us a call. Really? Yeah. Let's see if we can't organise a reunion. Crash, uh, I'm, I'm not sure about that. I, I'll have to run it past Mrs Clement first, eh? <laughs> Peter, you're like man trying to empty ashes of her uh, mistresses into a homecoming vent. Uh, soon you have tiny penis and beard full of secrets. <laughs> In Finland, we don't really go in for all that restrictive monogamy stuff here. We're kind of flawed, actually. Okay, well, it seems that we are running out of time. Yes, so before we go to the break, um, briefly, if you would, gentlemen, with the people of this country facing shortages and power possible, outages. Possible shortages and power outages. Yes, of course. Thank you. Um, possible shortages and power outages. Can you summarise your thoughts for us, uh, Minister Bjerg? Well, from here, yeah, you all look a bit stupid really arguing about outdated device concepts like money. In Finland, we replaced currency with a system of bodily fluids back in the 1970s, and that's like a really hard to sanction, actually. Thank you, uh, Minister Votovic. Your country is like man who thinks he invented perfect trap for giant Newton hairy bear. When really, he's just standing in field holding... Holding his tiny penis, yes. Thank you, Minister. And finally, Prime Minister Clement. Let me talk to your viewers here, Jeremy. Don't worry, everybody. Don't be afraid. Don't even lose a wink of sleep. We knew the rest of the world would react this way. And we're ready. As me old man used to say, you can't make a shite pie without blocking a few toilets. Thank you, Prime Minister. Reassuring words there. We'll be back. After these messages. One minute back. Hey, Peter, I over your way this weekend. You fancy a quick nine? Yeah, sure, front or back. 
That's what I hope you're asking Megan Wolf for me. <laughs> She's out of your league, mate.